Hello, my name's Chad Johnson, and we are the Big Ski Family. Two parents, 11 children, on a mission to ski around the world as global ambassadors of family skiing. Today, we're gonna do something new and different. We're gonna do a brief tutorial on four things that a young skier needs to learn right off the bat. Four things, how to carry their skis, how to put them on, how to take them off, how to reset their bindings. And Cordy, our six-year-old, is gonna be your instructor today. So hope you enjoy this episode. All right, Cordy, come on over, babe. Here we go. Undo the clip. There's your poles. There's your skis. All right, good enough. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get going here. What would you say, Cordy, to a little boy or a little girl who tries to carry their own skis for the first time, but it's really funky, awkward, <laughs> and it's like, they, they go, I can't do it. What would you say? It would be like, it was really funky for me. It's just like, like, this is weird. This is not what I'm used to. <laughs> right. And now I just start doing it, and it's so normal. So you got used to it, mm -hmm. and now it's pretty easy for you. You don't even think about it. Yep. Yeah, since you know your mom and daddy and all your brothers and sisters have their skis and stuff, and they always have more stuff to carry, like lunches and stuff. So. Right. You're able to kind of carry your stuff like a big kid. Yep. And do your own do your own gear, right? Yep. Cordy, when you first started skiing, how did you carry your skis and your poles? I carried it like this, like this. And your skis were a lot smaller, but you'd, uh -huh. you'd put your poles there, and then you'd actually grab your poles there and you just kind of walked that way, right? Because mm -hmm. they weren't very long and they didn't come out so far. They didn't stick like this. Yeah. Is that right? And it worked pretty well. And it, you started carrying your skis from the moment you started skiing. Is that correct? Yep. It's one of the first things we taught you, right? Yep. Was it hard at first? Um, yeah. It was. It was a little tricky, huh? It felt a little awkward. But did you get used to it pretty quickly? Yeah. Just by practicing, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you want to show, let's go ahead and set those skis down. Okay, now I want to show folks, um, now that you're six, and even when you were four, how does a real skier carry their skis? What do you do? Carry it. Whoa, watch this. Look at her go. Look at that. Look at that. You're total pro. Notice that she didn't put the bindings directly over her shoulder, okay? They're not. She, a lot of people put their, their shoulder right here in between the binding, but what's that do if you put it there? It hurts your shoulder. And so this way, you literally put your hand right on the tips, hold it like that, the, the tails are up in the air, and you're ready to walk. And then you keep the other poles in one hand, right? Mm -hmm. And turn around and walk. Show me how you do this. Look at that. Now turn around and come back here. Look at that, totally mobile, right? Mm -hmm. And when you're ready to set your skis down, what do you do? You make sure nobody's around you, boom. And then you just drop them to the ground, boom, just like that. You're a little pro, aren't you? So, do you have any words of wisdom to a little, maybe four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old girl or boy out there? Um, is it important to learn to carry their skis? Yeah. Since when you grow up, it's kind of embarrassing. Can you walk through the snow with them on your shoulder like that? Yeah. You can walk anywhere, right? Uh-huh. When you get up here to the mountain, what do you do to get your skis off your shoulder? Um, Show me. Just like that, boom. And then what do you do with your skis when you're getting ready to put them on? Stick these in. Okay, stick your poles in. Find a nice flat spot. Yeah. And then how do you get, uh, how do you put your skis on? All right, so Cordy, you're gonna put your skis on. So what do you do first? You take your poles. Okay, so you start with your poles actually. Then you put your toe in, okay? Heel, stomp down, boom. Then you put your toe in, heel down, stomp, boom. Boy, that you made that look so easy. But that's all there really is to it, isn't it? So that's what you do. You put, you start by putting your poles, right? And then, and then, what do you do after you put your poles on? You take your toe. In. Put your start with your toe in the front of the boot, yeah. okay? And then you. See if it's lined up in the back. See if it's lined up in the back. And then you pop them in. Pop them in. So why don't you try that one more time? How do you take your skis off? So you just reach around with one of the heels, step down, pop it up, 
and use your other boot. Look at that, and you just stepped right out of the boots. Yeah. Okay, and there you are. So you still have your poles to stabilize you while you're doing that. Yeah. What if your bindings look like that and they're already kind of the heels up? Can you step into them and just get into them? Nope. Oh, you no. kind of have to reset the binding. Yep. And how do you do the reset? You go like this. You just can step on it yep. or you could even push it down with your hand as yep. you did, huh? Mm -hmm. But it's got to be open like that before you can step in. Yes. What happens if you crash on the mountain and everybody else is way down below you? You're by yourself, your skis fell off, you're full of snow. What do you do? You um, get parallel okay. from the mountain. Yes. And you put bottom one first. Your downhill ski on first. Yep. That's right. And if your top ski is on and your bottom ski popped off, then you have to hop turn like down. You hop turned down, so that becomes your downhill ski. Yep. So, Cordy, does a, a daddy and mama need to spend a lot of money, buy a lot of lift tickets, to take their children to the mountain, to teach them how to ski, or could they learn some other way? If you're just learning, you can learn in your front yard or back. I mean, like, Leon, my nephew, we are dragging around with a rope with my skis on and my boots. <laughs> in the backyard. Yep. So what are the most important things to learn then? Reset them. Yeah. Put your skis over your shoulder. Um, carry them. Yeah. And put them on. How to put them on? How to take them off? And and you can learn to do that on any patch of snow. And technically, you could learn to do that on grass. Yep. And what? And that builds your confidence for when you go to the mountain, right? Yep. Follow along as we show you simple hacks to making skiing affordable and easy for families to get in and get ripping right away. Okay, let's go ski, kiddo. You ready? Let's do it. Well, that's it. Cordy, you did a great job, and hopefully you got some value out of this. If you did, please comment below what you would like to learn from Cordy or Bentley or Kinsey or Barrington or ben, any one of the children, because we have learned a lot of things along the way on how to get our skiing children on the mountain and up to speed as quickly as possible. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, share it with someone you know, and subscribe, comment, and we look forward to seeing you on next week's episode.